Hey everybody, it's Tiffany Roberts, the Oily Doc, and today I am going to talk to you about how to make an organic and safe um, essential oil chest rub. With everything kind of going around in this kind of season, we want to have something around to help um, relieve some uh, respiratory issues. So we want to support the immune system that way. So I just have an organic unscented lotion base and you can order these great um, glass uh, containers off of Amazon. There's 12 in, in my box here, they are glass. When you're working with essential oils, you want to make sure that you use a glass container. Um, this way it doesn't break down the plastic. So I have an organic, I'm sorry, a glass container that I'm going to be using my organic lotion in. And you can do this a number of different ways. Um, it depends on what I'm feeling that day or what kind of oils I have around. Um, but you can use wintergreen to help soothe uh, the muscles and open up the air passages. I love, any time, during this time of the year, I love to use oregano. Um, what I have on hand is oregano vitality. You can use the regular um, oregano if you're not going to ingest it, okay? So this is the only thing I have on hand right now. Um, you can also use RC. Um, I love RC for respiratory support. You, my main, my main go-to is Thieves. I never go anywhere without my Thieves, okay? So Thieves is always a part of me. Um, you can also add in Raven. This is a really good support during this time of season. Um, we have a lot of our patients using this um, for different reasons for the immune support. And you can also use um, eucalyptus. I have both the eucalyptus radiata or the globulus. If you're gonna use it for children, um, the best eucalyptus for children would be the radiata. Um, it's just a little bit easier to uh, handle. Um, it's not as strong uh, smelling. And so right now I'm just gonna use the eucalyptus uh, globulus, okay? So what you do is you get, you fill up your container of your lotion enough that you don't wanna fill it all the way up because you want to be able to stir your essential oils in it. And then you can also add the, the rest of the lotion later, okay? So right now I just have a good amount of the lotion inside here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a few drops of the wintergreen. About five drops for that. I'm gonna add about probably 10 drops of the eucalyptus. And definitely my thieves. I can't go anywhere without my thieves. So I'll probably add six to eight of the drops of that. Okay. And just because this time of year we're having a little bit more um, reaction to issues in the air, I'm gonna add both the RC and the Raven just for added support. You don't have to. Um, but I like to cover all my bases, okay? So you can always add what you have on hand because a lot of the oils work synergistically together. And um, just because you don't have these, these types of um, oils on hand doesn't mean that what you have is not going to work. Okay. So what we've done here, now we're going to just mix it all together Mix all the oil up really well inside here. And each time that you use it, you may have to mix it a little bit just because the oil could come to the top um, of the lotion. But ideally, um, since you're working with an, an organic type lotion and it's like a coconut base, it should easily mix all together. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the lotion just to fill it to the top and mix all that in together. Okay. 
and it's definitely something that's going to be soothing to the system and help support the immune systems and now you have a, a chest rub ready to go when you need it okay if you guys have questions please go to my website at oilydoc.net and join my newsletter. I try to give you helpful tips every, every week um, uh, on my newsletter. So feel free to, to uh, sign up for that. Um, otherwise, if you have questions, please feel free to contact me at oilydoc.net. Until next time, love yourself, love your life, and love each other.